why you're watching the movie canon? Watch Geo. And here we go. Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, The Movie Canon. I'm Giovanni, and this is The Mer Report, a show about movies, entertainment, and television news. And for today's episode of The Mer Report, there's a lot of news that uh, came up uh, this week with uh, Comic-Con uh, 2024. So, um, I'm sorry, CinemaCon uh, 2024. So we'll be talking about what uh, dropped that week. Um, you know, we're not going to talk about every single thing that dropped, but there's uh, quite a few things that were interesting to me here. And uh, we're going to have a uh, the Funko Pop giveaway, the Spider-Man uh, Funko that I announced, uh, I think it was a couple weeks ago. So if you're watching live in the chat, then you will have the opportunity to win that Funko. So make sure that you stick around and uh, be a subscriber or a follower to the Instagram page. And uh, let me just uh, play a little bit of music here. All right, so a little bit of music here. And uh, for today's episode, I'm not going to be doing this alone. So I do have a uh, few guests here. I'm very excited I'm uh, very excited for them to, to be here on uh, the Met Reports on the YouTube channel, The Movie Canon. So uh, let's go ahead and, uh, and try to bring them in in just a bit here. Let me see if I can move this here real quick. So this is the Wapush a show podcast here by Movie Canon Council for today. Reverse pickpocketed. Yeah. Description? Uh, tall, lots of bling. We got a reverse. That's it. Right there? Down there, yeah. Sure. That's it. Hey. Excuse me. Stop. Hands on your crown. Easy. Hey. hey. <laughs> oh, bro. <Double> push. <laughs> <Perfect>. <laughs> so there we go. The will push. The will push podcast. The will push show is here. Christian, Juan, Mr. Zio. How are you guys doing today? Dude, thank you for having us, man. I'm doing great. Yeah, doing good, man. I'm excited to be here. Doing good yeah, too, so, man. um. The, uh, the the little footage that I use of the commercial of Burger King, um, it's like very like bad quality. I was trying to find some better quality of those commercials, but they're, they're kind of old. But, uh, but yeah, uh, yeah. Chris is the one that knows about it. I, I just only heard it from him. I'm not from his time, so you know. <laughs> bro, <laughs> what? No hating on the BK Lounge, man. Wow, yeah. No man, that was uh, perfect, I perfect. tried looking up the BK Lounge, but I think it's a joke from. Uh... <laughs> from this dude that guy that nobody likes anymore oh wow okay. that makes sense uh, yeah so i i just use it it's not gonna be like, like funny, intro bro. intro but it's just like oh, let me just put a little <laughs> you King you going on. Intro, bro. <laughs> so but uh but uh, thank you guys for, for being on here uh, i've been meaning to have you on here i've been wanting to have you on here uh, so you guys have your own show, obviously, the Will Push show. And then you guys talk about some of the things that uh, we talk here on the Met Report. So you guys were perfect for this. So I'm glad that all of you guys are here today. Um, so like I said, we're doing a CinemaCon um, 2024. Um, some of the, the, the information that dropped this week. And I'm going to have you guys play Buy, Rent, or Destroy. Um, uh, Christian, Zio, and Juan. Uh, it's it's going to be... It's, it's really going to work if the three of you play but it's going to be one game but it involves the three of you i'll give you guys more more details in just a bit here um so let's get into the chat real quick here so let's see who is here um just going to move this all right so we have uh mr uh, brick artemis saying what's up everyone hello there brick how are you what doing up? um make sure to subscribe to brick artemis the beagle six uh, it's twice a month on Monday nights. Uh, his next episode is on Monday, this Monday, the 15th at 6.30 uh, p.m. Pacific time. 
Uh, then we have uh, Debbie Rastelli dropping by saying, saying hi. So hello there, Debbie Rastelli. Uh, we have uh, Kenny Lang saying uh, best damn intro in the one six scale game. <laughs> so thank you so much there, uh, Kenny Lang. Um, appreciate that you're here. Uh, I don't care what anyone says. Uh, Evil Sneaker, Mr. Steve saying, hey, all. hello there, Steve. How are you doing? Hey, nice Steve. to have you here. Uh, let's see here. And then just saying uh, hello to Mr. Steve. And then to Zio, uh, Beats dropping by here. Thanks so much for being here as well. Uh, Abisai uh, Photography, yo, I'll listen while I'm out here uh, uh, staining my fence. <laughs> so uh, thank you for being here. Greatly appreciate it. Mr. Yomo also here dropping by. Thank you so much for being here, Mr. Yomo. Uh, looking forward to have you on my Figures Talk show soon. Uh, let's see here. It's Work It Baby says uh, Mr. Zio to Abisai. <laughs> <laughs> uh yomo yo all right so it looks like it's just amongst yourselves there uh yomo the one six father uh yeah, yeah. so uh, almost right he's almost going to be a father there. so congrats there yomo uh let us know when the baby comes uh good to see the whole wapush group on so yes definitely 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 all right so that's it for the live chats so let's go ahead and begin with uh, the first topic here uh so again this is a a big movie news week right so we have the uh, the CinemaCon 2024 uh that's uh, takes place in las vegas every year that's where all the movie theater owners uh gather in a big convention and a lot of the movie studios uh, uh drop by and then they try to present certain uh, future movies and stuff like that to try to like um you know um let the movie theaters know what they're going to bring to their theaters, right? So yeah. what, what could they be excited for? And uh, it seems to be getting like bigger and like more of a thing uh, each year. So uh, I would like to go there uh, sometime. Uh, I think you need some kind of like a press uh, authorization or something like that. And I think it's like $1,500 or more to, to actually go for, for that. Okay. Uh, but that's exactly what they, what they, they talk about here. Um, we're going to start with the Warner Brothers one. So I'm just going to go into a couple movies and then some of the, then we'll go into some other movies that they, they mentioned, but I'm, we may not focus on all of them. Uh, so the first one here is uh, they did drop the theater, I'm sorry, the uh, trailer for the Super Speed Joker. And I know you guys in your show, uh, you guys actually played the, the trailer because it just dropped, I think, while you guys were doing your show. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and you guys give me like, you, you guys provide like big details about it mm -hmm. and, and Danny Spaccio was on there too and things like that. So this sequel is coming out in October. We already knew about this, but this was the first teaser trailer that we saw. And I think it already broke some records as far as the viewership. Uh, a lot of people watched this trailer and the first Joker film, which came out in 2019. Um, I remember that there was an announcement that they were going to make a standalone Joker movie and then Martin Scorsese was somehow involved. Uh, later on, it turned out that um, I guess he wasn't as involved in it. Mm -hmm. uh, but they still made this Joker movie. And then they cast Juan Joaquin Phoenix, which to me was like, well, uh, you know, Joaquin Phoenix doesn't usually agree to just anything. So I was already kind of excited about that. And then mm -hmm. we saw the movie made over a billion dollars. It won him his first Oscar. And now we have a sequel to this. They added Lady Gaga. Uh, in the sequel, and it looks like it's going to be s somewhat of a musical type of thing. Uh, from my understanding, it's not going to be a, a, a direct musical. Like, I don't think they're going to be necessarily singing original Joker songs or anything like that. Uh, I think the music is going to be somehow uh, connected to me, what's going on with the scene, with the plot, and things like that. At least that's my understanding of it. So I'm very excited for this. Uh, first Joker film was... I think my top film of that year if i'm not mistaken but just very quickly i'll go with you guys i know you guys already talked about this but just very quickly what were your thoughts on the on the teaser trailer of this uh, new joker uh, movie uh we'll start with uh with mr christian yeah i mean like we discussed on on, on our episode early in the week i, I think it, it's great man it's it's the perfect type of trailer to get you interested right it doesn't give you too much it still has the same tone still yeah. has the same that that joker look um, and then obviously having Lady Gaga involved as Harley, 
Um, it's just, I, I think they're kind of upping the stakes. So I, I think it looks fantastic, man. I'm definitely super excited. Yeah, there was a, there was a couple shots in that trailer that I really, really loved. Uh, the one shot where um, Lady Gaga or Harley uh, writes the, does the little smile on the glass. Oh yeah. And yeah. then, then you, the camera or maybe like uh, Joker or Arthur positions himself so that it looks like he's smiling based on the the little uh drawing that he did on the glass that was kind of clever and and kind of cool so i like that um we don't really know too much about the story itself but there's a lot of like speculation as to what it could mean but yeah. i'm excited for this i'm sure there's a bunch of twists going on in this movie i'm sure lady gaga will be great joaquin phoenix will be great again i'm sure but uh mr zio what were your thoughts on this uh, trailer here the teaser it looks fantastic, man. I'm looking forward to it. There's a lot of features that I really enjoy throughout the movie, um, especially with what they can do now that we know that he does imagine a lot of events in his mind. So it could put him in a bunch of different scenarios that necessarily don't have to be part of these, I guess, like the main um, story or whatever that he's like going through. But I'm excited, man, especially because I really like some of the scenes already from the trailer, like like one of the scenes where harley like rubs the blood across her face to make the joker smile. oh yeah and then the yeah. white suit joker man um i'm very interested and eager to see what what else we see in this movie and what other figures we may get from this movie like i know oh. nr just released the the you know announced the, the the ones from the first movie but i'd like to see what we get from this one especially like i said i really think that 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 white suit joker man reminds me of that frank miller joker and i think it would oh, yeah. go so well as an older uh joker to to pair with a lot of batmans that we may already have in the collection so i'm eager man i'm eager i'm excited can't wait i think it was done well like christian yeah. said so that's exactly i think that's how you do a trailer i agree man I agree yeah i think a lot of people were turned off with the whole this is a musical there's a musical why would yeah. there be a musical for a joker movie but to me yeah. it's like well what are you gonna do what exactly are you going to do for a Joker sequel, right? For Especially for the type of movie that we got. You know. Um, so this is something different. Go ahead. Real quick. One thing that I remember seeing a lot was, uh, especially in the Arkham games and even in the animated series, Joker and Harley were always singing. Mm -hmm. There was always a lot of scenes of them like dancing and swinging and things like that. So I can see how this can work. Like it's going to be a, a great adaptation of what we've seen in comics or in animated films and or series so I'm, i am excited about that part because it does happen yeah mm -hmm. uh mr juan any thoughts on on the trailer the the new joker movie yeah I, I was gonna ask this uh this was a teaser i thought it was like an official like trailer number one it's a teaser okay well then this teaser did a lot more than what it did for me with uh deadpool and wolverine right oh yeah a lot of oh yeah were yeah. excited yeah and i think now a lot of people are excited like this is the type of trailer that deadpool wolverine should have put out and it would have it, it probably would have broken it now mind you there's been a lot of leaks in deadpool and this and that but mm -hmm. i mean am i excited yeah just based on that two minute trailer that we got even that 30 second trailer teaser trailer to the teaser trailer <laughs> you know <laughs> right oh yeah that's right so, that's right um yeah, so yeah, I think it, I think they they considered it a teaser trailer. I know it's kind of long for a teaser trailer, but uh, I think maybe because there was no like actual um, like story things Correct. going on in there. Yeah. But um, any other thoughts before I move on to the next uh, movie here for the Warner Brothers presentation? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to the next one, and I think Mr. Christian will enjoy this part here. So they <laughs> talked about Furiosa, uh, the Mad Max uh, prequel uh with uh, anna taylor joy and uh she, i mean she's been like everywhere i think she's a great actress and everything uh good casting here now what we did learn uh during this presentation is that it's actually going to take place between like uh 16 to 18 years i think it spans that that time that amount of time frame there which uh, you would think maybe it's just it'll take place in a couple of days or maybe in a week or so yeah. but it looks like it's going to be a few years now i was a big big fan of the mad max uh film in 2015 george miller's well i think he directed the other ones too but the 2015 movie with um with uh tom hardy and uh, charlie Theron, great great film also one of my top films of that year so i'm excited for this uh the trailer that we have already seen looks beautiful just like the the 2015 movie and i'm 
very excited to see what's what they're going to do with this one and then with the, uh, the addition of chris hemsworth as uh, the villain here so a lot of cool stuff that could happen here uh let's go to you christian since i know you're a big fan of this uh uh, Mad Max, uh, I'm guessing franchise. So, what do you thought? Um, I'm I'm clearly super excited. I've said this multiple times. I think this film is definitely one that I see challenging uh, Dune Part Two this year as as film of the year. Um, just given you know George Miller's track record, Fury Road in 2015 was fantastic. I think it was definitely a sleeper film that nobody were, was expecting to do as well as it did. I mean, you know, at one point it was even an Oscar contention, right? Just in terms of yeah. cinematography, the score uh, by Junkie XL, which is amazing. And, and, you know, the fact that he's tied to this one as well is just has me hyped because it's just such such a great just cinema package in terms of a movie. Um, and then obviously Anya Taylor-Joy is like really, really huge right now. She's a fantastic actress, as you mentioned. Um, she's definitely moving up. So um I'm, I'm just really excited to, to see the set pieces and just the the overall action in the scene chris you know this is definitely something that we're not used to seeing chris hemsworth do right yeah. um you know, and even just the down to the voice that he's using for this character and he's using his authentic you know australian accent um we're so used to hearing him with this deep thor voice and he's like he's got this really high-pitched oh, yeah. almost screaming voice in the movie so i'm excited to see kind of how he pulls that off and just the time you know 2015 covers a span of three days like fury road is across three days mm -hmm. the fact that this one is going to cover you know six to 18 years um it's cool i think we're, we're going to get a lot of lore of what this world is um and i'm really hoping i know they haven't said anything but i'm hoping charlize theron comes back to some at least if it's a cameo or something that we can show her like towards the end of the film um you know as you see the rise of, of, of furiosa so i'm super hyped oh, yeah. for this movie man oh yeah uh how about you zio I'm excited, man. I, I like Anya uh, J Taylor Joy. She's been a great actress. She has a lot of versatility. So uh, I'm excited, man. I don't re like I'm not a big, big fan of the Mad Max movies. Like I, I wouldn't be able to tell you like all the specific details and characters and stuff like that. I, I saw it and I know that it inspired a lot of the nightmare sequence in uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League or in his world and stuff. So that's why I'm a little bit more eager to learn about it and just kind of see how how um, how they go back and and do that time span man like i think dune 2 did a little bit of that i mean we were talking about that a few times mm -hmm. how you know they they time jumped a lot so i hopefully yeah. they hopefully they do it better than dune because like dune was like kind of like sudden all of a sudden you'd be cut to a, another scene and they were in the future so i hope they do a little bit better on that and and i hope it does i don't i hope it does go go ahead and go head to head with dune 2 because we want that kind of quality in the cinema to bring us back to that. So I welcome that more than anything else because I'm, I'm a, I love movies, man. And the better mm -hmm. quality we get, the the better experience we get as the consumer. So yeah. I'm all for that, man. But I, yeah, I'm excited. Oh, yeah. Definitely on my list. Um, how are you? Uh, how about you, Juan? Are you uh, excited for this uh, Furiosa movie? Um, I haven't seen the I haven't seen Mad Max or any of the movies. Oh, okay. oh. Is that the only one. Yeah. <laughs> but. But that's about to change because I like Anna Taylor Joy and I like her, I like her movies. I like the way she acts. Um, so I am gonna watch them, and then hopefully I'll probably watch it. You know, around the time that this is getting released, so I can watch it back to back. Okay. Something uh, that I could experience uh, with, like with June, you know. Right. <laughs> uh, and then Christian, since you're you're the bigger fan, I think I think of all of us pertaining to Mad Max. Would you recommend Juan to watch Furiosa first, since it is a prequel, and then watch the 2015 Mad Max, or the other way around? Uh, no, I definitely watch 2015 Mad Max, man. You have to, you know, <clears throat> George Miller has been making the Mad Max films for a while now, back to like Mel Gibson with the original, you know, The Road Warrior. Um, but this is definitely like a different tone, a different kind of direction that he took it. So I would definitely watch it. And plus, Tom Hardy's awesome. Charlie Theron's a badass. Like, you need to get that. <laughs> To give you the context of where this is coming from to understand like this character right I, most people tell you the other way around just watch this because it's a prequel technically but i i right. think you should just watch uh fury road first man for sure you're gonna want to buy that vinyl too i guarantee you after you watch that movie <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> so uh so again the joker uh, folio do if i'm pronouncing that correctly they dropped that trailer um where i talked about uh, furiosa some other ones that uh, they talked about beetlejuice beetlejuice they showed a bit of uh a little bit of footage there um are any of you guys excited for this beetlejuice sequel that's coming in September? absolutely man of yes. course 
So apparently they're going to use a lot of like practical effects like they did in the original. Yeah, uh, I guess that's some of the footage that they were showing. So I'm, I'm excited for this, actually. Like, <clears throat> like growing up, I was like, I did like the first Beetlejuice, but it wasn't one of those movies that I was like, I got to rewatch like every every year or anything like that. But uh, I'm excited for the sequel here. Uh, this movie called Mickey 17 with um, Robert Pattinson. Yeah, um, they um, they I guess they showed some footage of this, uh, maybe the trailer. Mm -hmm. And I guess it's not exactly what people were expecting. I guess it's more like in the comical uh, sense. And I guess Robert Pattinson has like an odd uh, accent or whatever. So uh, I guess some people were kind of liking it and some people were not. So I don't know what's going on with this ad here, but <laughs> that should be a part um, of the Right. Jack that's tacos. what I was thinking. Jack that's tacos. what I was thinking. Chicken combo, baby. <laughs> that's, I was like, that's... I was like, what did you guys do? It just dropped out of Burger King. Ad. <laughs> Jill, <laughs> Jill, Jill, Jill signed it with the rival. He he signed with, <laughs> no, he, signed with box. he signed with Jack in the Box. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. too funny, the, man. The funny funny part is I don't even like Jack in the Box. So it's that's like so <laughs> Uh, let's see you. oh m night Shyamalan's trap so they uh, talked yes. they talked about this movie i i haven't even seen the trailer i just heard the description of the trailer and this looks really good to me so I i'm gonna try to remember what it was so well let me see if it's in there um also uh, m night Shyamalan's next film is called trap and he told us that his daughter uh, salika who is a musician helped him form the idea of the project as for what the movie is about, Trap looks or, or Trap looks to tell a story of an immersive experience like a concert that turns into a thriller. When the concert begins and the singer Lady Raven, played by Salika, uh, comes on stage, something terrible happens and you come to find out that, uh, that this all has been a trap to capture a wanted serial killer who is played by Josh Harnett. Um, I mean, I was I was a big fan of uh, M. Night, M. Night Shyamalan with, uh, you know, signs and... and um, and then obviously the sixth sense and then then he made some split. other movies that were not yeah. good yeah split was really really good although i didn't really like class but uh so he's like a hit and miss Ho hopefully this one is good so i'm excited for that um i think that's it for the warner brothers one so uh, let me just look at the chat real quick so i'll move on to the next studio presentation uh let's see uh brick Artemis saying that's just not nice to see the we'll push on here let's so go, yeah definitely let's go uh, Yomo says uh, the white suits talking about the the Joker white suits. Um, Mr. Austin Nicholas dropping by saying hey guys, hello to Mr. Austin Nicholas. Uh, make sure to check out uh, Austin's uh, new video, uh, third party uh, ranking figures. Uh, I actually haven't seen it yet, but uh, as soon as I get a chance, I'll definitely watch it. But I'm sure he did very well on it there. Um, saying hi to Austin there. Uh, let's see at Austin uh, reverse deal uh, to Austin Nicholas top 10 third party videos. Oh, there you go. Shameless plug right there. Wait, there you go. Um, <laughs> give one break. Uh, let's see. Uh, Carlos, you're too kind, says Mr. Austin Nicholas. Uh, damn, bro. Uh, Kenny Lang says, hey, Austin, just got done watching your top 10. There you go. Another one right there. Uh, let's see. Well, Kenny, thank you so much. That's true. Appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, a lot of people are loving uh, Austin's video, so I'll, I'll definitely watch that as soon as I can. Uh, let's see. A storm uh, saying hi. Uh, sorry, I'm late. Uh, a lot going on. Not a problem, Star uh, Storm. Not a problem at all. Thank you for being here. Okay, so uh, let's move on to the next one here. And I believe the next one is Lionsgate. Ooh, Lionsgate. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. so let me remove this here. Okay, so Lionsgate. Uh, I know they've been like trying to. I know they were struggling after um, what was the the Hunger Games. So mm -hmm. after the Hunger Games series, they're just trying to you know have another franchise or whatever, and they were like failing at it. Um, then of course they got John Wick. They got John Wick that started making money Boy. for them. And the one that they actually presented here today was a John Wick. Mm -hmm. uh, John Wick mm -hmm. ballerina. Mm -hmm ballerina it was supposed to come out in june of this year but they pushed it to the following june 2025 and from my understanding i believe it has something to do with that i guess there wasn't enough action sequences or something like that so they <clears throat> pulled it so that they can add more stuff more sequences more uh components to the movie uh so that they could uh you know present a, a better film is what i'm guessing which is not something that usually happens especially when it comes to like studios but i know lionsgate wants to be 
um, very successful with the whole John Wick line, right? With the whole John Wick series. Um, what are you guys' thoughts on uh, Ballerina? Let's start with, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, let's start with uh, Mr. Juan. Uh, are you a big fan of John Wick overall in general? I am. I am a big fan of John Wick. Um, I can't wait for this movie. Uh, if they pushed it back, it's probably for a good reason, you know? And uh, just like uh, we were talking about uh, the recent movie, The Monkey Man, right? The Monkey Man? Oh, yeah, Monkey Man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. You know, those if you're gonna replicate a movie like the way the John, you know, an action movie, I think a good one to replicate would probably be a John Wick, right? Uh, it's it's a lot of story with no story, and then a lot of action, which is which is what people like. People just like seeing it. You know, one of the things that they can't stop talking about any John Wick movie is the pencil, you know. <laughs> so, I uh, I'm excited for this movie, uh, I can't wait to see it, and it's probably going to be one of those movies that I see on opening night. Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, how about you, Zio? First of all, I'm jealous of this lady's calf on the right side. If we just take a close <laughs> zoom at that calf, like, that's that's a fucking calf right there. So That's prime rib, dude. Bro, right there. <laughs> Look at rib. that calf, bro. I need prime to rib. I need to be USDA doing calf, beef. I need to do calf raises as I'm sitting here on this on this stream. Uh, <laughs> dude, I, I love the John Wick series, bro. There's so many elements of that series that they do so well. Like, especially once they went from two to... Uh, the last one I think was four. Was it the last one was yeah. four, right? Yeah, yeah. The, the lighting sequences that they do in that movie is fantastic, but also the music, man. That mu yeah. that music gets you fucking going, man. Uh -huh. Like I that I love the music in there. Obviously, the action is is the action sequences are second to none. Um, Keanu just he was born for that role, man. Like I don't even yep. want to call him Keanu. I just look at him and I'm like, oh, John Wick. John you know Wick. what I mean? The, John Baba Wick. Ya the Baba Yaga. So, Baba uh, Yaga. dude, I am excited to see what they bring with Ballerina in terms of the direction of cinematography. Like, are they going to keep it in the same way that they did John Wick? Or are they going to do a more classy look and tone, maybe more classical vibes, more classical music in the background? Like, I am interested to see because, you know, these are people with high power high status you know so and john wick was not necessarily part of that he was going against those people so we kind of you know we kind of got his 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 version now i want to see what they do with uh, ana de armas i believe ana de armas. Yeah. so ana i'm de exci armas, yeah. I, excited i'm excited man i love her too so looking forward to this a lot i'm, I'm upset it got delayed but you know obviously we want the better content so yeah hope, yeah can't wait and apparently they showed a little bit of the footage at uh um, cinemacon and and yes there is they did show john wick Ooh. in uh in a scene there so i'm sure he's not gonna have a big role because no. it's not his movie but but yeah so i'm excited for this uh juan uh we well, already talked about this right juan yes did you, already, yeah. you did okay so christian what are your quick thoughts on this uh john wick uh, ballerina movie uh <laughs> <laughs> i'm <laughs> i just saw your comment I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh no, nah, I'm excited, man. Obviously, so the fact that Ana de Armas is the lead, um, oh, she's one of the <laughs> hottest Latinas, one of the hottest Latinas in the biz right now, dude. Like, she's she's great, man, and she was fantastic in James Bond. So if we're gonna get any kind of taste of that kind of her capability to be an action star, I'm really I'm looking forward to that. And um, also just getting to you know more into the lore. Uh, of that world for for John Wick, right? So like the ballerina, I think was their initial phase of how they started the the hitmen, right? They, I think they they were training these these women to be kind of like sleeper agents and you yeah. know to kind of uh, go in undercover and take out these these organizations from the inside. So it's gonna be cool to get that background of kind of and I'm and I'm hoping when John Wick does show up, you know, it's it's more so his rise to becoming right because we still haven't seen. And I still think there's one movie in there, whether it's Keanu playing that role or not, somebody else play a younger version of him, but how he got the name mm. Baba Yaga, right? Oh, yeah. So I don't yeah. know if, if this is setting this up towards that direction. I would freaking love it, man. And that honestly, that'd be a good thing to talk about, guys. Like, who who would be the good John Wick actor to be in the prequel, right? To play that rise to the Baba Yaga name. But uh, I'm excited for this movie, man. That's yeah, you, you know they're going to do that. You know that's oh, going to happen. for sure. They're for yeah. sure. Yeah. 
Um, so let me look at this uh, code that Christian just dropped here. So uh, <laughs> be sure to use the code we'll push at your next local BK. Stop for a free slap in the face by your cashier. <laughs> and, that, and that's if there's a if there's a BK around you, because I know they keep closing them around my area. So hey, hey, hey take it easy. Take it easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, yeah, Todd's fired. fired. <laughs> Todd's fired. How much they pay you for that? Them in and out. Dude. Right. Come on, he's sponsored by in and out. Bro. How much did Jack pay you to say that, man? Yeah, no, Jack. Right? <laughs> that ad that we saw earlier. Uh, Darren Water saying, "Hey all, hello to Mr. Darren Water. Thanks so much for being here." uh let's see and then he says i'd like to see uh ballerina so yeah that's coming out june of 2025 uh brick artemis says i'd love to see a uh a wick uh young wick uh then once he fell uh in love and uh wanted out yes man that's what we need we need that chunk yeah for, yeah that's definitely gonna happen come on um all right so the next one here uh, still with uh, Lionsgate. so they actually talked about the michael jackson i was gonna say michael myers the michael jackson <laughs> biopic right so this is his uh his nephew uh, i believe his name is jafar he's portraying uh the king of pops so um Ooh. so i'm uh i'm actually I, I don't know how i would how i felt about this announcement because like it's it's going to be basically produced or made by the family mm -hmm. uh, the jackson yeah. family so obviously right. they're, they're not gonna dive into you know the other stuff right controversial uh, stuff. right yeah, the other yeah, little, stuff no 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 neverland biased. action basically is what geo saying <laughs> right. like 100 bias. Exactly, bias exactly 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 so i was bias. like but but i'm excited for this because you know you know controversies aside i think he's a great artist michael yeah. jackson i'm sure a lot of you guys think that for sure my favorite song of all time is a michael jackson song um so i i know they're going to use a lot of music uh they they showed um i think they showed a little bit of footage in uh cinema con uh for this and they said that they're, they're gonna show a lot of michael jackson music and like, why wouldn't you right um mm -hmm. and apparently the the actor the the nephew i guess he's he's pretty good i guess he really does sound like michael so uh but also they also said that they do kind of um i don't know how detailed but i guess they do kind of mention that there's some controversies that's going on with michael jackson right so like yeah. i said I, I know they're not gonna dive into dive into it too much but it looks like they are at least mentioning it they're not, not just burying it completely but uh but uh let's go with uh mr uh, zio this time what are your thoughts on this uh, michael jackson biopic so i got a few things i gotta put uh real quick i'd like to know what your favorite song is uh, but before you do, I'd like for people in the chat to try to guess what your favorite song is. So if y'all get a chance, put down in the comments, what do you think Gio's favorite Michael Jackson song is? Um, but I love Michael Jackson, man. Like like you said, controversy aside, his music is one of the best things that I could play on a road trip or just, you know, kind of look back to some of the some of the music that he also inspired you know he, he inspired a lot of people after him so mm -hmm. man I, I i just one song that i just heard not too long ago was um dirty diana now i can't stop playing dirty diana like i, I really like that song billy jean's my favorite from him mm -hmm. um but yeah man i'm excited to see what they do with it even if they are biased i mean in cinema there's always going to be one side unless you're really trying to right. i guess expose somebody then it's going to be like a full-on like you're going against somebody so it just depends How, whoever whoever does this movie would probably just you know try to keep some of the stuff you know clean especially when it's their family and i understand they want to protect this legacy as much as they can yeah you know so i i can see why why they're going to go that route and stuff so but i'm i'm, ex I'm excited to see what your favorite song is and to see what they do with this movie I'll, I'll tell you guys after we end this segment right here. But uh, Mr. Juan, what are your thoughts? I didn't know they were making a Michael Jackson movie. <laughs> oh, you didn't? No. no, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, but now that I do, you know, I was actually, <laughs> actually, uh, I was talking to my wife this morning and I was like, oh, you know what would be a cool, because I've got a new vinyl, <laughs> new vinyl record player. And I was like, you know, it'd be a cool uh, vinyl to get the Michael Jackson Thriller album. Mm -hmm. So that's probably what we're going to go do after we're done here. Oh yeah, <laughs> and uh, I, I'm ex I'm excited about it now. Now that I, you know, in this movie, I guess to have a good Michael Jackson movie, you have to be biased. You know, I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of yeah, glad yeah. that his family is the one producing it, uh, because controversy aside, we all know what happened. It's not a secret. 
and uh it's just the life of michael you know and how and how he, I, i'm guessing is it just how he grew up and how he became or how, uh, how I mean, he ended or what? um I, i'm guessing so i mean that's usually how the those uh you know biopics go right they show a yeah. little bit of the the youth the childhood and then how they rise to fame or whatever and then the downfall which in this case is a little different but um uh, but yeah i'm sure they'll, they'll they'll dive into that stuff and i think that's i think that's why it's gonna make a great movie but besides the fact that they're the family's phone producing it it's gonna have a lot of his music on there you know that and probably maybe even someone released stuff because i think that michael did uh, record a bunch of uh songs that he never released right oh that's right that's right yeah they yeah might they, might be able to, they might put some of that stuff out there never know right never um heard. Christian, you, you haven't talked about this yet, right? No, no. Okay, go ahead. Um, so I'm I'm I did know that this was getting made and I was a little worried that because it was being made by the family, they were gonna shy away from some of the controversy. And honestly, I don't blame them. I I'm I'm hoping that they at least give us a deep dive in one thing that I want to see is is Michael's work ethic. Cause he was one of the most disciplined He's the equivalent of a method actor in the music industry, basically, mm -hmm. right? This guy killed himself to, to do what he needed to do and he loved to do it. And I'm hoping, you know, this is kind of where the controversy comes in, at least on this side from the family side is, you know, their, their dad was notoriously tough on them when they were doing the Jackson five. And then when he branched off into his solo act. So it, I, I'd like to see hints of that. Obviously they don't want to, you know, basically throw his dad under, under the bus there, but they just need to show kind of where that work ethic came. It's because of how tough his dad was on them when they were young. And he was basically a drill sergeant from the descriptions that we've gotten from them. Right. Oh yeah. So, yeah. um, yeah, that's what I'm hoping they show, man, but I, I'm definitely going to see this. Who doesn't love Michael Jackson, man? His music's iconic. Um, it's, it's going to stand the test of time the king. Uh, forever. Right. It's king of pop. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Most definitely. So I'm excited for this. It comes out in April of next year, 2025. So it's still, a year away so yeah i'm excited for this uh let's look at the chat real quick here uh let's see you know who else has a king burger king <laughs> <laughs> another burger king plug uh christian cooper say, um, saying just stopping in what's up guys hello to mr, mr. Christian cooper thank you so much for being here like always uh, this, burger, was saying, this, this burger was uh modeled after burger king nice <laughs> it's a prototype it's the new prototype whopper it's a new what is a new wop burger from burger king <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure the people who are just dropping in by now is like why are these people talking about burger king <laughs> <laughs> uh, darren water says the jackson family needs money um yeah I'm, probably i mean i'm probably i don't know what the situation is uh with the whole jackson thing but uh storm enchanter saying thriller i think she's guessing as to yeah. what song uh billy jean says there in wardle billy jean. uh my cousin alex aka chevo billy go 126 saying howdy fellas hello there chevo what's up, being here. What up billy go pretty sure i'll see you later tonight uh mr yomo saying my favorite mj songs are rock my world and remember the time uh my cousin saying record store trip hell yeah <laughs> so, uh, Christian Gomez says, um, I want you back. Uh, MJ did that shit though for <laughs> real. <laughs> uh, Loki collector, Mr. Calvin, saying, Sup, oh, fellas. Hello there, Calvin. Mr. Calvin. Sup. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Calvin was on my Figures Talk show last Sunday, so make sure you check that out um, on my channel. Uh, then we have here. I'm hyped for the the last Ronin live action film, which we are going to talk about in fire. just a nice. moment. Uh, Matthew Figueroa saying a breach. So thank you so much for being here. Uh, I don't think I've seen you on here, but uh, thank you so much. That's uh, my cousin. By. <laughs> oh, okay. There you go. That's that, that's funny. Right? I was like, he looks familiar, but I can't. I'm trying <laughs> so, to remember where I've seen him before. Yeah. So uh, w welcome, welcome. Uh, Darren Wardle says uh, the movie canon BK edition. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> There you go. Gio's about to get a PR package from Bree pretty soon. <laughs> no. uh, they're going to buy you out of contract, bro. Okay. <laughs> All right. So so that's it there. Um, now we have a bit of a, a little surprise guest. Let's bring him in here. Mr. Oh, Danny Spotsko. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> hey, Danny, how you doing? Man, just got off work. Uh, I texted you behind the scenes. It was like, let me come hijack this. 
Carlos, Carlos, just see you again. I know we don't get to see each other that often. Dude, but, I don't get to talk to you at all of these man. days, man. But uh, <laughs> right. good to see you again, bro. Good to see you. Good to see you, Juan. You man, Christian. Good to see you. Danny, too. Up, man. Good to see you too. Thank you for being here, Mr. Danny Spot. Do the hearts. So, do the do the hearts. Do the hearts. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, so uh, we were talking about the Lionsgate presentation uh, Comic Con, and uh, let me just go into real quick as to some other stuff that they dropped. Like I said, I'm not gonna go into details, but they did mention some other ones here. Uh, let's see here, uh, where is it? Okay, so oh, I think I just dropped it here. Hold on a second, guys. No worries. While you're waiting, tell us your favorite Michael Jackson song. Oh, that's right, that's right. I forgot to tell you guys. <laughs> okay. I, if you guys know me, you probably figured it out. And of course, it's it's Thriller, right? It, it's Thriller. <laughs> uh, you know, the song, the video, uh, okay. you know, it's something to listen to and watch every yeah. Halloween, every October. So, yeah, that, that one was kind of okay. like obvious, right? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, so we got that. And let me try to show this real quick. I don't know what's going on with this thing. Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay, so we have... Uh, where did it go? Hold on a second, guys. Hold on a moment. You're good. You're good. Oh, here it is. Dan, here it is. Dan, is. Danny's going to be watching a history movie when he watches the Michael Jackson <laughs> biopic. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Lionsgate also talked about a movie called In the Gray. Uh, it's a Guy Ritchie movie. Unsung Hero, uh, which I don't really know much about here. Uh, oh, oh, The Strangers. Dude, yes. Dude. The Strangers. Oh, yes. The Strangers. Chapter oh, one gosh. coming on May 17th, and I think they made three of them already. I think they're good to go. Um, yeah. just gonna oh, yeah, drop they're... them this year. Did they film Netflix, all three? Right? Of them? I think they did. I think they yeah. did shoot them all. And uh, I don't know how it's a reboot, right? No, well, it's um, a prequel. Oh, it's a prequel. Yeah, it, it looks like it might be a prequel. Yeah, based on the, the trailer that I've seen. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely be watching that. I'm excited um, for that one. Borderlands, yeah, Borderlands in August. Yeah. Oh, oh, and this one, The Crow. Okay, The Crow. So The Crow, I know Juan. I know Juan. I know Juan. Juan, Juan, Juan yeah. right away. <laughs> no. Juan. Juan, so, Juan. so they pushed this movie. It's supposed to come out in in June. So they pushed it to August. Uh, so mm -hmm. they they had scheduled to come out on June seventh, and but now that was the same day as the new Bad Boys movie. Mm. So they pushed it uh, two months to August 23rd. So Juan, Dang. I'm sure you saw the trailer, right? Of this Crow movie. What are your quick thoughts on that? Yeah. On this movie or the trailer? I mean, just like people were hating on Jared Leto Joker for being so different. I'm hating on this guy for being so different. <laughs> you know, like, uh, I don't know. It's just, it's just not the, it's not the Crow. I think they're, they're not making a reboot out of the original story. I think. They might have grabbed a couple pieces here and there from it, like the like the girlfriend being killed and then him being killed right after. But I don't know. It looks interesting. I don't know if it's a movie that I'm super excited to go see in the theater. I might just wait for it to come on stream and see how it goes. But I don't know. The actor's great. I mean, that's the only thing that's motivating me to probably go see it in the, in the theater. Juan, Juan wants some of those tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Is that the eye? Is it like a big eye on his chest? Yeah, that big eye on the chest. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get that. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, the nipple one. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Nipple yeah, one. that's right. that's the most that's the most controversy. Is that's the, the what I was one. talking about right here. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's it's blocking it right there with the the. Yeah, the, thank uh, you, Gio. Cinema content. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Juan's gonna pick up the in art no, let us, for this let one. Me see it. I'm, a, I'm about to look it up. <laughs> That's your funny, man. All right. So let's move on to the next one. We have Universal. So this yeah. is a Universal Ooh. Pictures presentation. Uh, th th they're, they're mainly focusing. They're really pushing Wicked, right? So, I mean, I'm not really a huge musical uh, fan. Uh, I know this this uh, movie or this uh, source. Uh, I think it's based on a book. And then they made a musical, like an actual musical. And now they're adapting it into a musical film. So that's supposed to come out in November, and it's two parts of this. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to watch this or not, but I know it's going to do well. So that's Wicked. That's what they they presented here. And then they also talked about The Wolfman. Uh, that's coming out. Uh, I think it was supposed to come out this year, but I yeah. think they might have pushed it. 
because uh, it was gonna it's gonna be uh, Ryan Gosling was gonna be involved in that, but I guess he's not anymore. Um, so let me go and share some of the other information here regarding the Universal presentation. So I know that we're also talking a lot about the Despicable Me uh, movies. So this is the fourth one I'm uh, coming out for... in July, right? Because I think because of the the Minions, the Minions, because of the Minions, yeah. movies. The, Gru, the Guru movie or whatever. Like I feel like it's already been like twenty. Yeah, because uh, they they had the Minion movies, the Despicable Me, the Despicable Me movies. So yeah, it's only the fourth one here. So that's coming out. Twisters. Okay, Twisters. Oh, I'm excited for right. that one, actually. Man. I'm, I'm, excited for, <laughs> I'm excited for this, too. I, I know some people are not, but I was a huge fan of the 96 Personal. Bill Paxton yeah. movie. Saw it in theaters. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's not groundbreaking filmmaking, right? But uh, it's a lot of fun, and uh, the trailer looks like a lot of fun. So I'll definitely be watching this. Um, then they have uh, that one actor, that coming up actor, Glenn Powell, I think his name is. Yeah. From yeah. Top Gun. On the rise. Um, yeah, definitely. George, man. I'm saying it. Instead of the guy. Nah, that's going to be Booster Gold, bro. I do it, I hope. Oh, that's right. That's Booster fire. Gold, dog. I'm telling you, man. Fire. Um, so that's the Twisters there. Uh, let's see. Some other ones here. Uh, uh, Wolfman already talked about that. Uh, speak. Uh, no evil I think, uh, <laughs> with a uh, what's his name? Um, James, James McAvoy. McAvoy. James McAvoy. Seen him huge for that movie, guys. I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, he's, he's gonna play uh, in this movie, man. He is <laughs> just like in uh, Glass, right? Just like in Glass. Yeah. Oh, I think he's bigger than Glass in this movie. If you see a still, he got freaking massive. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely did. And this, I think he's like a villain here. I saw the trailer, and he, he, he knows how to like deliver like very. Um, like odd putting or like make awkward situations yes, <laughs> work really really yes. well uh so I, i'm kind of interested in seeing this one um Very coming accurate. in september in september the the wild robots september 20th and of course i already talked about wicked mm -hmm. um did you uh, talk about uh Nosferatu? um i don't remember what studio that is um, it's universal too it should be it oh should be it universal. is it is yeah. universal um i don't think it's on this list i don't think i put it is on that there still dropping this year juan i believe it's, it's still supposed is. to be december 25th 2024 right. the reason why i'm bringing it up is because uh isn't it uh anna taylor joy supposed to be in this movie yeah uh -huh. but i think they were they was thinking that they might be uh delaying that one i think that's probably why they didn't oh. say anything about it um oh, so that was still see, up in the air makes makes sense makes sense well, the foes yeah. In that one. yeah he is yes yeah. yes and then so, uh, Bill yeah. Bill Skarsgård again is in uh, oh, Nosferatu yeah. as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the um, new Devil of Stevens on there too. Oh, um, Aaron Taylor Johnson. Aaron Taylor, yeah. Oh, really? Hell Aaron yeah. Taylor Johnson, yeah. Is it Universal or, or is it backed by A twenty four? That's all probably another reason too. You know, I it think it is. I think it might be A twenty. You know, I don't know. Uh, let me just it up. distributed yeah. by Focus Features and Universal Pictures. Oh, it is Universal. Okay, mm, so Focus okay. Features is part of Universal. So yeah, M maybe they did talk about it, but for some reason they're not really. Maybe they didn't really do much about it on the presentation. Yeah. Um, no Jurassic right. World either. I'm surprised. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. They didn't mention anything about that either. Um, let me look at the <laughs> chat before we move on to the next one here. Let's see. Uh, we have uh, where'd you get that, Mr. Cody? Dropping by. Hello there, Mr. Cody. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, let's see, Matthew Figueroa saying, uh, "Billy fucking Jean, my guy." Go, <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. So there you go. Brick uh, Armis says, "Brick Armis says, I leave for ten minutes. Come, come back, and Danny's on. <laughs> That's what's up." <laughs> yeah, there you go. We're, we're full of we're full of surprises here on the movie Ooh, Academy channel. Let's go. So uh Twisters is on my got got a C says uh, nice. oh. uh Darren Water puts a bunch of twister emojis in there. Uh Kenny Langs always will remember the cow and the tornadoes. And they they bring that up in the trailer again. Uh, I think this yes. is about cows. Yeah. And then talking about like twisters or like it's I forgot what they said. Uh sisters, or I think, or something like that. It's like multiple tornadoes. Wait, do you guys, because I mean, I'm in California, so obviously I don't deal with twisters and they're like tornadoes. So do you guys actually have like tornado alerts? Uh, Every week, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Every week. Yeah, man. <laughs> they, 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 here in Houston specifically, they don't hit as, 
I guess closer as often, but uh, but there was Dallas. one that hit last year that did destroy quite a bit in a and I guess like a closer city, Pasadena, um, destroyed ha quite a bit of homes in a neighborhood. So and it was yeah. it's not that far from from where where we stay. So it does happen every now and then, but not like that, man. Not like we don't look like Glenn Powell chasing them, you know? Like nah, nah. <laughs> it's closer. I think it's closer towards West Texas. It's Tornado yeah. Alley on that side. Oh, so. I see. Yeah. I see. Well, cl closer to, to me then, right? So closer to California. <laughs> yeah. But um, all right, let's move on to the next one here. So this is the Paramount presentation. And this is what I'm most Ooh. excited for. So the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh the last ronin um okay so my cousin ivan shout out to ivan and mm -hmm. his wife jessica so shout out to you guys so they gave me this right oh so they gave me the last ronin oh, um yeah. I, I haven't finished reading it but i will but um so i don't know i don't know who which which turtle it is so don't spoil it for me so Damn. uh i'm excited for this so this is a live action all rated Teenage Mutant, Ninja, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles last Ronin movie. So I'm excited for this. I think mm -hmm. they mentioned something about maybe coming out in 2026, I believe. So I don't think it's coming out too soon. Yeah. But uh, which one of you guys is a big Ninja Turtles fan? Deep down. Um, I, <laughs> I, need, I, I really want to get into them. Yeah. You know? Okay. I've had a few like collectibles. Like I had the f a few of the NECA series. Like I had the regular movie ones, and then I had like the horror movie line where they like turned them into horror monsters, which was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, but if they made them in one six scale again, like the movie ones, I would definitely pick up because the only one six scale ones available at the moment are the movie ones, or I think they're a little bit bigger scale from NECA. But oh, they I, are, yeah. I, yeah. But I'd really man those hot toy ones that they did actually look pretty good. They're just very difficult to find um but yeah man i did you know i did see a few lines come out and i've seen some really good pictures with with these uh with this figure from uh the last ronin so i'm 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 eager, I'm eager to see what they do with it i'm wondering how they're going to distribute or market this movie since it's going to be rated r and it's going right. to be an animated movie correct live action oh live action live action okay, live okay, action. okay, okay. okay. no then that's going to be fire then because i thought it was going to be animated and i was like that's going to be kind of hard to sell that's uh, what i thought too yeah but no since it's live action then then now i'm more excited especially because yeah it's in the future it's you know it's a darker storyline so i'm excited dude i'm excited for that I'll, i will give you a spoiler alert he's not first no I'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> um yeah. christian any, any thoughts on this yeah i, I mean i'm excited my I, I'm still, I guess, kind of, I want a good live action Turtles, right? So I, I grew up with the, you know, the 90s movies, which were awesome, man. Freaking, you know, Vanilla Ice, Go Ninja, Go Ninja stuff, you know? <laughs> nice. uh, but, uh, and those movies are awesome, man, right? So, like, I was kind of hoping something similar to that tone. I did not like the Michael Bay movies. I just, oh, yeah. there were two yeah. Michael Bay, man. I think it was the wrong guy to get for those movies, maybe. Um, so I, I, I'm excited for this. I'm just curious how this is going to fit in, if this is going to be like its own isolated story because you don't have these turtles established and now you're going to just throw us in and like, hey, all the turtles are gone. It's just this guy, right? So um, I don't know. I, I hope it's done well. I'm excited it's going to be R-rated too because, you know, the, yeah. the original Cur Turtles comics were super brutal, mm -hmm. right? And then they started getting that kind of lighter tone and kind of the comedy side. So like, uh, I, I, I'm hype, man. I just hope that, this does well and this sparks interest into kind of trying to do another live action turtles reboot um because i, I think it's needed man it's such a good ip uh it's a, it's a waste right they, i think the the mutant mayhem animated one was so good like there's there's a lot of i think hunger out there for more turtle content so uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it man all right and how about you juan i'm excited for it um th as soon as it got announced uh all of Twitter, you know what Twitter does. They started yeah, right. uh, casting the they started casting the director, and they wanted Zack Snyder to jump in on this thing. So yes. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but I am excited for it. I, I I like the turtles. I think it's a I think it's a good uh, uh, establishment. I love the '90s movies, uh, but we'll see how we'll see where it goes from there. Yeah. And then Danny, you, you never got into the the turtles. Oh, dude, I love Ninja Turtles. When I was growing up, oh. the 90s movies were some of my favorites. The first two, at least. The third one, 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Want to go to Japan at the time or time yeah. travel yeah. thing? Yeah. And, and yeah, uh, Carlos mentioned when we were in Dallas, dude, we saw those NECA one in uh, the quarter scale. Uh, quarter scale. There you go. Yeah. They look fantastic. They're like, great, man. Yeah, they made those in one six scale. I would cop. So yeah, this yeah. I would be, I'm ex I'm pretty excited for. Uh, you're kind of right about that marketing thing, but on the flip note of that, if they market it similar to how they did like the Batman, could you imagine how dope like the edits for this movie would be, man? Yeah. Like, you're alone. I'm excited. Just get, Matt, just get Matt Reeves to do it. Fuck it. That's what I was gonna say, dude. Like, like, that's Reeves probably three hour, be. three hour last run of me. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I'd watch it. Yeah. Hell yeah. Is, yeah. we still got the video game to go along with this too so I, for sure I will, yes I, I will say because i'm always thinking about figures if they did this movie even without an established universe but they did a cut scene where all the where the you where he you know remembers or sees of actual vision of all the turtles like when they were together or younger then we could still get those from hot toys you know sure we'll see you know? that yeah yeah, sure yeah. yeah. like Specs. It, yeah. it'd be great so yeah let's make that happen um and the live chat says uh, last ronin live action it says yes. uh, where'd you get that yep that's coming uh then we have a little bit of the little turtle <laughs> ninja turtles the little uh, <laughs> swords right there uh they have one six scale of the cartoon line um mm. i'm not sure who, who makes that though um See, i hope is uh, i hope last ronin is free from bay so michael bay uh, yeah, I don't. I don't think he's involved in this one right here. But uh, please, producer no. made the Conjuring, and it's. And I think that's it there. Um, all right. Nice. So we're caught up there. Uh, the next one that they presented here is a um, crossover with Transformers and GI uh, GI Joe. <laughs> uh, GI Joe. I was gonna say this GI Joe. New news. This is, they teased this. Um, in the, what was it? Rise of the Beast. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah I, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't see. I didn't watch that movie, but I did hear about that. Um, you know, uh, GI Joe. I never really got into GI Joe that much. Uh, Transformers. I liked the first Michael Bay Transformers movie, and that was about it. Um, so I don't really care too much about this. But uh, are any of you guys big fans of either of these franchises here? Dude, I'm trying to be hella into Transformers, bro. Same, like, yeah, same. Bro, same. Transformers, huge man. Um, yeah. Well, what are you? What? Are... Go ahead, Danny. Go ahead. Yeah, dude. Honestly, Snake Eyes too. Like. I think the real reason that behind this is that Paramount can't seem to have G.I. Joe stand alone on its own as a franchise. So they're like, mm. well, the toys are selling really well now because apparently they're making a comeback and they're like six inch like Marvel Legends scale. So they're like, well, let's make a movie about them. How do we do that? Well, let's put them with the Transformers. I'll be real. I didn't really care for Rise of the Beast. And I think that my personal favorite Transformers movie is that Bumblebee standalone movie. That one was fantastic. If they could replicate that kind of vibe because it had that like 80s kind of like yes man back to the future feel to that movie right like it, it felt like an 80s movie if they kind of went with that same vibe for an entire trilogy that would be that'd be cooler this i'm like eh, eh. i'm like what what's gonna be like you know what i mean like i can't imagine people going oh in the theater when snake eyes shows up <laughs> right it's gonna be like megatron and then um optimus and then and snake eyes and freaking uh what's the other Dude. one uh storm Cobra. Storm Shadow, Storm, yeah. Storm Shadow, like Storm Shadow, yeah. At the same time, like <laughs> so bro. weird, dude. It's yeah. so weird. I don't know. This is this is like it's just they're tr this is the definition of trying too hard, in my opinion, man. <laughs> trying or running out hard. of ideas. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I think it's trying too hard. Just running out of ideas, and it sucks yeah. too. And I, I like the second what what uh, what Danny said too, right? Like the Bumblebee movie is so good. They got everybody excited with the Cybertron scene at the beginning showing all the g1 designs and then you know when the trailer for rise of the beast came out i'm not gonna lie i was super excited because you were seeing g1 design transformers yep. and then the freaking movie was such a like turd right Why i was did like, bumblebee God. take a back seat bro they let pete yes. davidson be the bumblebee of that movie i was like why, Dude, why? I, this makes no sense man it's just some like really messed up decisions and it's just like take those damn transformers designs and just continue the bumblebee tone and it would yeah. have been a perfect trilogy, dude. So sick, man. But, you know, it, it, it's what happens when you get a change of directors, right? I think Travis Knight directed Bumblebee. And then you got some new person that yeah. directed Rise of the Beast. And it was just, a, it right. was a mess, right? You, sure it was hard to get continuity. The guy who made the second Creed movie made Rise of the Beast. And it showed. Really? Like, oh, yeah. Okay. That makes yeah. sense. 
<laughs> yeah, I, di I didn't. I didn't watch the most recent Transformer movies because I had such a bad taste in my mouth with the Transformers <laughs> two, three, and four. I think the last one that I saw was the one with um, when they introduced Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, the first time, the yeah. first time, the uh, yeah. Age yeah, of Extinction. Maybe. I think yeah. that was the last one that I saw, and I was like, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> so that's when a lot of people saw, dude. I feel like because that, yeah. that was the last one that made money. Every other Transformers since that movie has like pretty much. I don't want to say tanked, but yeah, they kind of yeah, it yeah. They were making like over a billion dollars at that point. That for the first three, the first four, yeah. um, one made a billion. Yeah. Two, the last one, to make damn, it. yeah, yeah. So, they're, they're but trying, um, man. Yeah. Um. Uh. Any other thoughts, guys, on, on this uh, crossover? I Juan, mean, I'm curious, bro. What you thinking excited. about this? What do I think about it? I mean, I. I... Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. I uh, I've I've only seen the the like the first three Michael Bay movies. Um, I didn't really grow up watching Transformers or GI Joe like that. Um, but oh, I I know that they've always been interconnected, haven't they? Like uh, they've always kinda. had that. Something that makes them come together. There you go, Christian. I'm trying to listen to why he's flexing fire on the screen right now. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. Well, Sorry, yeah. go ahead. Go ahead, one. Dope as hell. Damn. All right, go ahead, one. I think they've no, had crossover. Saying, uh, yeah, they, they, I think they've always been like connected to each other somehow. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. I mean, it makes so sense it not... if, if they if they had that crossover before. It makes sense to have it. Why not? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, I guess when I heard about it, I was like, okay, I guess it, it kind of makes sense. It's not something like, uh, remember when they mentioned? I don't know if you guys heard about this. Um, the Men in Black and what was the other Twenty One Jump Street? You know how they, yes. you know how they uh, talked about that, and then I guess it almost happened. That one, I, I didn't know what the connection was. Dude. But. Uh, I, but, from uh, what I remember that Geo, that was I'm still pissed about that because that was during the Sony hack. If y'all remember that, like what was it? Oh yeah. yes, dude, that was one of the leaks. Was the MIB 23? They were gonna. I don't know if Will Smith and Tommy Lee were gonna be a part of it, but Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum were gonna be MIB agents trying to infiltrate uh, a drug dealer within MIB. Bro, <laughs> if that don't sound like the best <laughs> movie of all time. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so that didn't happen. Who knows? Maybe it could still happen later on, but. No, we're getting snake eyes with Optimus Prime, bro. They're too busy making yeah. shit up supplies. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah. And then the the other thing that they also uh, tease or talked about in the presentation is Transformers One, which is yes. an animated yeah. Transformers uh, yeah. movie. Chris Chris Hemsworth, and I guess is um, I guess this is like a prequel, like before Optimus Prime, and that they have like a different name or something, or or they had the original name d17 yeah. or d117 something like that yeah and like, uh optimal like proxima or something yeah so, something like that but th so they're doing that this crossover so a lot of transformers so paramount still wants to try to make money off transformers somehow so <laughs> so we'll, we'll see we'll somehow see. Um, <laughs> yeah uh miami's nemesis dropping by hello there mr miami's nemesis thank you so much for being here greatly appreciate it uh, Darren Water says, I grew up with G.I. Joe and Transformers. Michael Bay ruined my youth <laughs> uh, with those Transformers movies. Um, was it the Transformer balls, bro? What was it? Which <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, that's <laughs> right. Transformers. Damn <laughs> him, man. God. <laughs> yeah, Revenge of the Fallen. Uh, yes. I only remember the we first have... one, to be fair. Revenge I, I, of the like, Fallen. I did like the first one, though. I did like the first Transformers movie. Yeah. Uh, we have a. They, they've been trying to do a GI Joe slash Transformers for a few years. Probably yeah, so has. Let me try to work on that. Then yeah. Uh, then we have a franchise. I wish they would bring back is Small Soldiers. The that concept trailer looks amazing. Yeah, I I watched that movie so many times. Small Soldiers when that movie so came good, out. Good man. And that was that was Tommy Lee Jones voicing yes. uh, Chip Hazard, I believe. Chip yeah. Hazard. Chip Hazard. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, H have you seen that, uh, Danny? Uh, Small Soldiers. Forever. That was one of those like movies that got yeah, put on in the background for me when I was a kid. And I looked over the oh, yeah. <laughs> figures talking. Like, <laughs> yeah, even up, then, bro. even then, as a as a young person, I thought that like, that movie was creepier than Child's Play. I was a weird oh, kid. Oh wow, <laughs> that is that is interesting. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Dan Water says, name, yeah. uh, oh, Orion, Orion Pax is, is that the 
Yeah. Up is that the name? Yeah. Oh, it is. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. So we got that. Uh, let me see. Um, let me just go to the the page of the Paramount one because I know they talked a little bit about uh, Quiet Place, uh, the prequel for mm. Quiet Place. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's coming out in June. Um, are you guys excited for that uh, Quiet Place uh, uh, prequel? Yeah, man, I like that mm. that universe, but you know specifically the suspense that builds up in that movie. You know, in those kind of movies where you know you got to be real quiet, and then you just any small sound can be the cause of somebody's life or death is pretty pretty, you know, suspenseful. So it it just yeah. makes for a good movie, man, especially in theaters, because it can go yeah. from real quiet to real loud like real quick. So oh, yeah. I, I'm I'm excited, man. Obviously, like you know, the first one is obviously going to be possibly the best one i don't think you know anything else will come close to it but well i'm still eager to see what what happened yeah, yeah so apparently the, the the studio rep at the presentation said something like what do you think or what do you think would happen if you drop these um uh, what do you call it uh uh audio sensitive aliens that kill people in the loudest city, city in the yeah. world basically yeah. in new york city so it's like yeah that's kind of what we see yeah. uh in the trailer so that that sounds cool so I, i'm i'm interested in seeing this so i'll, I'll be watching that i just see a lot of destruction happening real quick oh yeah so, sonic the hedgehog yeah. three. shadow baby i think i Christmas. know who shadow is by the way being voice who, who do you think it is it's keanu reeves you think so keanu reeves really what i heard yeah i think it's okay. i think it's anakin man well that's, they said that that's been rumored for a while right that it was going to be yeah. kaden christensen yeah and yes. that he might that he might pop up but obviously that didn't happen they didn't actually officially announce who it is but uh, i don't know if they showed a clip or not but it's be um, Pedro pascal dude right <laughs> <Pedro> pascal. <laughs> <No>! <laughs> That or Dwayne the Rock Johnson, dude, hundred percent. Right. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, who do we grab? I hope it's Jack Black. Jackson, man. <laughs> I think, uh, well, yeah, that'd be cool, man. And they also have. Uh, they also talk about Smile Two coming oh, in October. Yo, and then Gladiator. Dude. I heard Gladiator some good stuff Two from Gladiator Two, man. I I've some, heard that. I've heard I good heard things some. about it too. Now we're um, good. Hey, real um, quick, the Smile Two one. They yeah, I heard they got footage uh, that they saw from the CinemaCon, and apparently, like. The trailer starts with like some uh singer lady, right? Some pop artist, but like all the people in the crowd just start doing the smile at her. Oh, oh I think uh, I heard about uh, that. yeah, yeah. Damn. That, that movie was dope, man. I enjoyed yeah. it. I'm excited. Hopefully, this one can stick the landing. Did, yeah. did you like the uh, the I'm smile, the, the smile entity? Did you like the the look? You talking about that, that big ass like meat sludge at the end of the movie? <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah he was dark, dark Souls boss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Souls. yeah. Yeah. I was about to say, he's yeah, scary in the cool. dark, but like, I feel like if you turned the light on, it would be a little less intimidating. <laughs> uh, Gladiator 2 coming in this year, November. Uh, Denzel Washington, Pedro Pascal is in this. Um, Damn. Apparently he's a antagonist or villain or something you. like that. So, so his he, agent he's in needs this. To be getting paid more than him, okay? Like uh, right? yeah, I'm telling right. you, bro. Yeah. yeah. So uh, from what I heard, is it's just like the story is not that much different. Obviously, there's no dead family, uh, but uh, but there is a bit of a similar concept when it comes to getting into the gladiators to the stadium and all that stuff, and um, uh, that. I don't know if it was one of the, wasn't there like a young kid in the first Gladiator movie yeah, that Prince. survives and apparently he's going to be in this one, but you can't really tell which of the two actors is actually playing him. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But that's uh, it's still Ridley Scott. Uh, Ridley Scott has been like a hit or miss with me lately. He's done some really great stuff, but then all, yep. this, all of a sudden he just does some really, really, really bad stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm kind of excited for this but i'm also very um skeptical uh, skeptical as well so um let's see i think that's it for the the uh paramount one okay so then the next one we have is disney okay so disney oh, so shit. you know that's going to be a lot of marvel stuff right so uh that's of course wolverine uh, and deadpool or deadpool and wolverine 
actually let's let me get into the chat before we move on to that here uh let's see uh what up geo this is christian cooper it's it to danny zio uh it better be hayden says christian cooper for that uh, shadow uh voice actor uh can you smell what the hedgehog is cooking <laughs> says yuma <laughs> <laughs> And then we have that uh, probably smells like chili dogs. Have you have you guys did you guys watch the animated show, the so Sonic? Yeah, a long yeah. time ago, man. Yeah. Hey, dude, that intro song is iconic, bro. Yeah, gotta, gotta go, go fast. faster, faster, <laughs> faster. Nah, that's a fire song. Yeah, bro. it was funny how it was uh, Steve Urkel who voiced uh, Sonic. Oh, oh yeah, that. that's true. Yeah, I yeah. J, J. Leal White, he he voiced the uh, Sonic. Damn. Uh, in that cartoon. And I, and I noticed, I noticed when, when I was younger and was watching, I was like, that's Steve Urkel. <laughs> so it's like... That was young Gio saying, you know what? I have a knack for movies, you know, like, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's no. when he discovered his mutant powers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Miami's number says any movie recommendations. Ooh, uh, yeah, it just depends on if you want something old or you want something new, but, uh. Um, that was a good movie I've seen lately. Hey, if you need one, Chris, uh, if you're into horror, uh, the Late Night with the Devil just recently was released on it Shutter. Is. And that it is. Was really yes. Good. Polka Dot Man. That, that, that was really good. Um, yeah. Trying to think of some other ones. Uh, I'll probably have to get back to you on that one. But uh, but yeah, that's a good pick there, Danny. For sure. For sure. All the people I mean, to what we talked about today, like Gladiator. This right? <laughs> this, I mean, I mean that's a given, right? The Strangers. Most yeah. people want either prequels or sequels. Like people always say, like, I want original shit, but then no one goes and sees them and watches them. Correct. So it's like, yeah. so it's like what's happening is like you guys want original shit, but then the box office flops for all those movies. So I think it's because time, like man. we literally have like you know mobile devices on our on our pockets all, at all hands right if we want to watch an original show we just go to one of our streaming services movie ticket prices are only increasing right so like everybody that doesn't get to go see one of these like standalone like one-off story movies like original stories it's like man i don't want to risk spending the 20 dollars on a movie ticket and an additional 30 dollars on my popcorn and drink man i don't know it's 50 dollars for a movie that could or could not be good so yeah, yeah. okay yeah uh we have larry from the sts guys hey guys uh, hello there mr larry thanks so much for being here uh larry was on my met report show like a month ago so definitely check that out it's the march 9th episode so thanks so much for for dropping by uh, i'm saying hi to larry there okay um let me see oh miami's nemesis i do have one have you seen the movie uh sizu i believe it's called sizu world war ii john sizu, wick style yeah. movie yeah. Great, great movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people have not seen that movie. Definitely check that out. That was one of my top uh, films of last year, 2023. Uh, so there you go. Uh, okay, so let's move on to... Oh, we have a Chris uh, Chong saying, I have not watched any X-Men Wolverine stuff. So lots to catch up on before DP3. Ooh. Also, what's up, fellas? So hello there, Mr. Chris what Chong. Thanks so much for being here. Brother? So you've never okay. seen X-Men ever? Like at all uh yeah it looks like he has not so yeah well, he definitely has a lot to catch up to he's in for a ride he's in for a ride yeah <laughs> definitely um okay so wolverine and deadpool i keep saying wolverine first for some reason deadpool and wolverine okay so i know a lot of us are very excited for this um i'm definitely excited for this it's my number two most anticipated or number two or three no number three most anticipated Ooh. movie of the year right oh um Which other so ones you? uh the first one already came out that's dune, dune. part two okay. and the second one is joker uh oh nice, nice, nice. Mm, so nice. Th that so there you go there um so i guess i guess they showed a little bit of footage in the uh in the presentation here no spoilers um uh they didn't show like ex you know review anything you know too spoilery and i guess you can just confirm that yeah it's not going to be uh, very uh, Disney filtered out. It's going to be your regular Deadpool, the one that we all know and like. So that will definitely happen. I guess it is definitely going to be a hard R-rated movie mm -hmm. uh, from what they presented. So if you guys had skeptic were skeptical about that because Disney owns this, you don't have to worry about it, right? Um, 
there is this one thing now i don't know if you want to i don't consider this a spoiler because i think it's a joke but i'll also say this right so they said in the foot they said that uh based on the footage that they saw you know in the trailer when there's a bunch of like screens that they're showing like mcu events mm -hmm. and then uh, mm -hmm. deadpool was like watching them and the guy from uh from that one show from uh succession, HBO. succession they go mm -hmm. uh i guess there's one sh one video one shot where uh, thor is like crying or something like that and then deadpool is like on the floor and i guess he's like i don't know if he's like bleeding or anything but i guess he's like thor is crying over him over something so <laughs> i mean there and i'm sure it's some kind of a joke and i guess like deadpool is like well what's happened there and i was like oh when we're we supposed to show you that when we're we supposed to show you that so uh so just like little things like that i'm sure we'll we'll get in this yeah. deadpool movie but uh let's begin with you mr christian what are your thoughts on and i know you guys have talked about this movie a lot too but what are your yeah. quick thoughts on this um i'm obviously super hyped man and one thing i want to point out so i i, I did have my skepticism with disney kind of taking over the the, the deadpool reigns but the fact that kevin feige himself said fuck during the presentation oh, yeah. <laughs> um makes me feel really good about like the future of marvel i think they've realized that all this um kind of limiting yourself to this kid tone and stuff of like you know we got to keep doing jokes and you know kind of at the wrong times i think they're gonna they realize that they can do a shift to a more darker tone and i hope that's what we get um obviously hugh jackman's return is super hype i'm actually a friend of mine and myself are going dressed up to the premiere this oh, year man. and i actually just i just ordered my uh my Wolverine oh, yeah. So let me I'm see if I can. Full, let dude. me see if I can full screen. Hold on a sec. Uh, oh, I'm damn! Full out, bro. Bro, uh, I'm I'm hitting the gym too, trying to get swole so I can look good in there. <laughs> damn! Uh, need, need, need need feet. Chops too, bro. I'm let yeah. I'm letting yeah, the hair yeah. grow out and stuff, so I'm going full yeah. on Wolverine, bro. And yeah. I'm gonna kick major ass in the lions, bro. Everybody's getting their ass beat by Wolverine before wow. we see the movie. <laughs> um, but no super excited man i'm looking forward to it i can't wait yep sponsored by bk mm -hmm. so <laughs> sponsored by bk <laughs> so uh mr zio what are your thoughts dude you know this is one of those movies that that you get once in a lifetime due to a variety of reasons right like the buildup of hugh jackman as wolverine and getting him to finally see him in the yellow suit it speaks enough for why i want to see this movie um you know because you know deadpool movies are you know they're great they're not like you know they're not the next you know i you know interstellar they're not the next you know big movie like that but it's a great action flick and you know i, th I think it's just gonna be great man um the only thing that i'm really hoping to see in this movie is I really want to see Hugh Jackman have like a moment where he just goes crazy, like pure savage in yes. the yellow suit, man. Oh, it like being little... a rated R movie, you know, I just want him to go pure, Coloring like, blood. dude, like, yes, <laughs> like, give me something, you know, similar to what they did with Logan near the end where he just went crazy, but That's in the nice. yellow suit, man, in the yellow suit, like, I want him to just go full rage. Um, but yeah, beyond excited, man, I mean, you know, as a collector, like prepare your wallets, bro. Prepare your oh, wallets, yes, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, even already, bro. Like this is not like I. I mean, I have to at least get Deadpool from here as well. So it's you can already consider this two for me, uh, plus whatever else they're gonna release from this movie. Which yeah, I hope dude. any do. other X Men that show dude, up. I hope they do, man. I hope we get something good from this movie. Uh, but I can't wait, man. I can't wait for you, Jackman, in that yellow suit. I want the hot toy announcement. Give me everything. Give me everything. Let's go. Yeah, dude. I'm waiting for that, man. Hopefully the sleeves come off, too. Oh, that'd be sick. Then, uh, Mr. Yoma, hope your wallet is getting uh, ready as well for uh, potential <laughs> figures <laughs> with X-Men. With uh, I'm going to destroy this figure, Yoma. All right. You know what? He, <laughs> he, he, uh, he, he kept his uh, Wolverine and my figure yeah. stock show. Yeah, he, yeah. He kept that. There was, like, no hesitation. Yeah. Um. Uh, Yuma saying Sizu was great. Uh, I saw a pic somewhere they're having tons of exclusive items for uh, DNW. So like that, uh, that that popcorn Deadpool thing is that like a real thing? Yeah, I think it, I think it's I think, a real thing. Yeah, I, I think I, I think I I'm gonna have to get that. So because uh, <laughs> I got the Dune one, so I think I think I'll probably get it'll that. pair nicely <laughs> next to it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, you know you had the Dune one, Gio. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, it's, it's right over there, actually. Right over there. Um, <laughs> show us Geo. Show us Geo. <laughs> no, no, no. It's okay. It's like, no, no, it's all right. It's okay. It's, it's, it's um, not in condition to be shown. <laughs> <laughs> it's brand new. It's brand new. Yeah. Yeah. Um, thank you. Um, Mr. Juan, what are your thoughts on uh, Deadpool and Wolverine? He's like the butt uh, of the movie. <laughs> uh, well, I think uh, I was going to say that I think these guys touched on everything that I, you know, that I think of myself. So I, I was going to say that the one thing that I'm super excited for is that bucket. And I hope I do get it because <laughs> I oh, missed yeah. on the Doom <laughs> one. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, this, like I said, um, the teaser trailer was, um, it was okay. Uh, it didn't get me as excited or more excited than what we all already are for it. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, I don't own any Hot Toys or, or any Marvel figures, but if I do, it's probably going to be these two guys. Okay. So that tells uh, you that much about the excitement towards that. Yeah, because I know you're more of a DC guy, so yeah, I wasn't sure. But I wasn't sure if Deadpool and Wolverine would be like the exception, you know, because, you know, it's Deadpool and Wolverine. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, I consider them more of a standalone part okay. of uh, Marvel, but now that they're yeah, kind of bringing them in uh, and how they're in incorporating them, plus, you know, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, who doesn't who doesn't love that yellow suit. Right, right, right. Uh, how about you, Danny? Dude, yeah, I am fucking pumped for this movie. Like, did y'all hear that line? Apparently, they're in the footage that they showed at this uh, con, he says to Blind Al, uh, cocaine is the one thing Foggy said no to. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> the comedy in this movie already sounds like it's going to be fire. And did y'all hear that theory about Headpool being the head from the internet? Yes. Yes. Bro. Being the head? Deadpool. Wait, being, being the head from what? So remember at the end of X Men Origins, the Deadpool of that movie got his head sliced off and he went, Shh. Oh, yeah. So the theory is that Headpool is the head from that movie. <laughs> That'd be oh, okay okay that'd be hilarious uh, yeah. ryan reynolds also said that this was his best movie too okay oh wow man, i'm excited for this man uh, yeah and that's that's coming up that's only like three months away let's see i April, know May, man June. i can't wait no like four months four months J july 26 so that's coming it's like, up it's like two days in hot toys time yeah we're due for another <laughs> right? trailer soon i hope <laughs> yeah i think so i think so in the next month or so we'll probably get something uh let's see oh mr Cuso saying hey chat hello to mr Cuso. thanks What's so much up? for being here uh yoma says uh berserk wolverine would be awesome to see yeah so that's what uh i think zeo said that right about the wearing the yes. yellow suit and getting all crazy yes. like in logan um my wallet's coughing a little bit right now but uh, we got time to make it work <laughs> says yoma uh and jemima dropping by thank you so much for being here greatly appreciate you uh, Darren Water saying, "I would love to. I'm sorry. Would love the taxi, a popcorn bucket. Yep. Uh, and then we have Yomo, Deadpool, and Wolverine are coming home, including the popcorn bucket. So yeah, everyone's already <laughs> excited about the popcorn bucket. So good job on uh, on Kevin Feige promoting that shit too. So <laughs> there you go. Uh, okay. So the next one here uh, that they were mentioning is uh, Alien uh, Romulus." Uh, they show a little bit of footage there, and uh, I think we already knew about this that it's going to be set during um, the first Alien, and then the uh, the Ridley Scott Alien, and then the James Cameron Aliens movie. So it's in between those two films, and yeah, I'm excited for that. Um, it's supposed to have more of a tone of like the first one, but very quickly, what are your thoughts on on that, uh, Christian? Oh, uh, I love the uh, Alien just franchise in general both you know alien and predator so i think that the tone of this one is is spot on man it looks it reminds me a lot of alien and aliens in terms of some of the shots and like this is the first alien movie that like made the freaking face huggers creepy i've never seen them haul ass like they do in that trailer where they're like busting through glass and world stuff. war z style oh, world <laughs> it's insane that shot alone just has me so hyped because most of the time you see they, they'll jump for your face and then they fucking miss and then they're gone they never show up again so <laughs> these are like actively chasing you it's freaking creepy man i'm so hyped for this movie yeah man oh, yeah um what are your thoughts um uh, juan of the alien romulus i'm i'm excited for this for this uh franchise you know i i think uh they they killed it with um was it the last predator movie that came out Oh yeah, uh, Prey. Prey, yeah. So I'm um, uh, yeah for Prey. Um, if they do something similar to this, since it's between those two movies, I think it's gonna be a great hit. 
uh this is one of those uh franchises that i need to go back and i need to revisit from start to finish so i'm excited i'm excited to get that going get that started but i'm excited for this movie um have you uh, mentioned have you talked about this yet zio not yet man um i'm excited i love the alien movies i Juan, i think you really like aliens the sequel uh, I had a lot of fun watching that one, man. Um, but I, I'm excited for many reasons, like the cinematography, the the horror aspect, the I mean, xenomorphs in general are fantastic. Uh, but hopefully, I'm always thinking figures. Hopefully, <laughs> we get an alien figure from Hot Toys oh, yeah. 2.0. Like you know, I I really need that in the collection, and I know I can always go back and pick an older one, but similar to how they did the Feral Predator from Prey, I hope yes. that this is their way to come back to the oh, Alien yeah. franchise, so I do hope we get that figure, because I need that representation, The uh, just so much stuff that you could do with an Alien figure uh, that I'm very, very excited to see. Oh, yeah. Um, how about you, Danny? Yeah, dude, I, I've never been the too big on the Alien <clears throat> franchise, but I'm waiting for this one to be like that one that gets people into it. It's kind of like I feel like Prey was for a lot of people, right? Uh, I was never been too big on the Predator franchise, but Prey is one of the best movies out of, what was it, 2022? So that was one of my yeah. favorite movies that Hulu's ever produced. So I'm excited to see uh, what this is going to look like. Like you guys said with the face huggers running and busting through glass like that shit's scary. they're already terrifying to me because getting on your face and pregnating you know what your gender is <laughs> so uh yeah uh i'm gonna watch this one this is gonna be like a, a what do you call it like a day one kind of watch or a night of release yeah, for sure. watch. so i'm excited yeah yeah, I think it's theaters and streaming i think right or is it just streaming Jim? i think i think it's theater theatrical it's release theater. first because oh, I saw yeah. the bucket for this. It's a xenomorph head. Yeah. So oh, okay. In, uh, I think it's in mid mid August. I think August sixteenth or something like that. That's when that's going to come out. Um, just for just to very quickly here, uh, you guys already talked about uh, Alien, right? Mm -hmm. You guys already yep. had a chance. Okay. So I'm just going to go over uh, some of the things that they mentioned very briefly about uh, some of the other Disney stuff, and then I'm going to have you guys play the buy, rent, or destroy. Um, yes. So let's see. So let's see here. Okay, so they, they did talk about the Captain America <clears throat> Brave New World, uh, which shows a bit of footage there. Harrison Ford as um, the, uh, what's his name? Uh, Thunderbolt Ross. Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt Ross, Ross, yeah. yeah. Who, is, who is president of the U.S. at that point. Um, so we have that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, so there's that. And then there's Thunderbolts. There's, there's an asterisk going on with the title, and I guess it's significance. Um I'm not really familiar with Thunderbolts, so I guess there has something to do with uh, the asterisk in the title. I guess they'll reveal that mm -hmm. when um, when the movie comes out. And I'm trying to show an image. I thought that was an image of uh, Thunderbolts somewhere, unless I missed it. But uh, So they talked about that, or they talked about Alien uh, Romulus, Inside 2 footage, the Pixar movie. Uh, Mufasa, The Lion King, they're getting mm -hmm. a prequel. I didn't even so, know that was happening. What the hell? Yeah. yeah. So that's <laughs> no? comes out. That comes out in December, uh, I believe, of this year. So we're gonna find out how uh, Mufasa, uh, I don't know, <laughs> became king. I don't know, <laughs> but um, so <laughs> there you go. And then and then Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Let's they go. Some footage of that. I'm ready for that too as well. That comes out next month in May, May 10th. Oh, so. So yeah, that's man. it for the um, the Disney presentation. Uh, let me look at the chat real quick before we move on to the game. So we have here, um, where is it? Uh, Christian Gomez says, don't forget about Gambit. Yomo. Okay. I won't, I won't say anything. Uh, Christian Gomez, we all know he will be in it. Um, Alien Romulus should be exciting, says Darren Wardo. Uh, looks really good. Uh, Yomo to Christian. So can't forget him, bro. Hopefully Hot Toys makes him. Uh, live action X-Men figures are long overdue. So, yes. Yeah. So there you go. All right. So now let's go ahead and do, and I think that was it actually for all the presentations. Um, so I'm going to have you guys play. Now, Danny, uh, um, unfortunately, uh, you, you would have to sit this one out for the game. That's okay. Yes. <laughs> so, but uh, it's because it, it's kind of like tailored for them, 
Nah, okay. That will push. That will push. Okay, so here we go. So we have buy, rent, or destroy. Now you guys have played the my figures talk show. You know, keep, gift, or destroy. So this is very similar, right? Buy, yeah. Rent, or destroy. Uh, but instead of figures, we're talking about movies, right? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, so now you guys, you guys' picks is. When you guys choose what's buy, rent, or destroy, you guys have to decide amongst yourselves. And, you know, at least you, it has to be at least two votes, right? So okay, there's three okay. of you, right? So, mm -hmm. so let me show you what, what they are. Okay. So buy, I'm sorry, buy is the movie that you can watch whenever you want. It is your movie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and rent is a movie that you can only watch every like five years. Destroy means you are destroying this movie and its franchise, etc. So in this case, with you guys, it's entire franchises. Okay. She I already know. First one is Star Wars. So Star Wars, the franchise. Okay. So buy, rent, or destroy. The MCU. Damn. Mm-hmm. And the Snyderverse. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. So those are your choices. So you guys have to decide amongst yourselves there which ones. I, which I hate, uh, I'm I, not going to pick because everybody knows what I pick. I hate to say it, but technically one of them's already been destroyed. Oh. But it'll, <laughs> oh, wow. but I'll, I'll, it'll live in my heart forever. Yeah, uh, so, for, me, for me, it's easy. Uh, to destroy one of these two, one of these three. Sorry. Uh, yeah. I think. I think. I don't. I think. I don't know. I don't know if Chris will agree, but Star Wars. I think. Uh, for me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm destroying. Too. Yeah. Really? What? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, it looks I, like we have two votes already to destroy Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, Star Wars. <laughs> Next topic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I. I. I think that. Uh, I think. Yeah, like I love, I, I love, you know, Star Wars. Like I grew up watching it, but the other, the other movies from, you know, Snyderverse and uh, and Marvel, and especially the uh, MCU, uh, and not it's just I don't know if it's just MCU, but I have a lot of special connection with some of those movies. I share a lot of events with these people. Like, you know, Star Wars, I watched growing up a lot more by myself than anything else. So that's kind of why I. I think I destroy Star Wars. Like I didn't share a lot of special moments with people as much as I have with the other ones. And if I destroy the, the, those other movies, I'd be destroying the memories that I built during those times. So that's kind of why it's a little bit easier for me to destroy Star Wars. Um, I love their figures. I love the I love the movies too, but just a lot easier for me to say you know, destroy. All right, let's look at the chat before you guys decide on the other ones here. Juan, which um, one would you destroy, by the way? Because would Star you just Star Wars? Okay, because I know oh, yeah. you. Yeah. Wow. Wow, yeah. I I did not think all I'm of not them. A, I would destroy Star Wars. I'm too. not a yeah, Danny. I'm not a Star Wars guy. Danny has admitted to not like. No, I'm just kidding. No, it's not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, we have a Spirit Halloween collector saying, "Hey, movie candy, hello there, Spirit Halloween collector. Thanks so much for being here." Uh, Mr. Cuso saying, "I would buy Star Wars, rent Marvel, and destroy Snyder. Oh, the Snyderverse. My. Yeah, that's what I think a lot of people would would say." There, Darren Wardle, buy Star Wars, rent MCU, destroy the Snyderverse. Damn. Chris Don, <laughs> buy the MCU, rent the Snyderverse, and destroy Star Wars. Chris Chong, you might you my guy, man. You yeah, my guy. You're that, my guy. That sounds like the right answer to me, man. Yeah. This guy's on it, bro. Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't agree with you guys at all on that. Oh, um, on, oh. only because I only now I'm reading what yes. Chris Chong says. It's a hot you take, can tell man. by your shirt, that's why Joe. Only your shirt gives right. away, bro. <laughs> this is a hot <laughs> take me right now. <laughs> on the movie canon a lot of people are going to start tuning in like we'll push the destroyed star wars headline we tomorrow uh, we should have just uh faked it you know all the way through yeah. we'll buy star wars that's it yeah yeah that's the final answer if if we were i think if i would have been yeah I'd, I'd be like yeah man but no i gotta well, stay like, destroy movies. star wars as i hold my lightsaber <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> uh, oh only because I, I only watch one star wars movie says chris John. yeah um Yomo to Storm says, I'm going to try. Uh, I guess we'll see what happens after. The, oh, the, the figures. The figures. Uh, saying boo. Um, all right. So we got that. Uh, buy MCU, rent Star Wars, destroy the Snyderverse, says Yomo. Ouch. Damn, so Yomo. 
destroys Carnage and destroys the Snyderverse. <laughs> uh, Spirit Halloween uh, collector says, buy MCU, rent Star Wars, destroys the Snyderverse. Mm-hmm. Um, and my extra name. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, the next one by Mr. Queso is so good. It says, at least it wasn't the Pooverse. Uh, Pooniverse. Pooniverse. The Pooniverse. The Pooniverse. <laughs> uh, Mr. Mr. Kusa. <laughs> uh, I'm forced choking all of you, says Mr. Kusa. <laughs> says the hardest yet. Uh, Mr. Kusa. Um, um, Storm to Yoma says, I doubt with inflation I can afford anything but the movie so much. Yeah. So must have a lots of picks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you guys are destroying Star Wars. Uh, just so you guys who are tuning in. Uh, the Wapush is destroying the Star Wars franchise. Why do, you, why do you have to say it Flip twice? It. Like, <laughs> let, me, let me clarify. Flip it. Let me clarify. It's <laughs> like, <laughs> all right. Flash so, uh, so now we're left soup. with the MCU or the, Snyd- uh, the Snyderverse. Uh, dude, I'm gonna let y'all speak because I already spoke on the first one. But I mean, it's mine's obvious. Why? <laughs> People are gonna okay, hate so, me, so they already so, hate so me because I said so, I've only watched a fourth of a Star Wars movie and I didn't like it. So oh, wow. if it's I say perfect. that I, yeah, I mean you but, know, so but it, but it, you know what, Juan, that's that's how it should be, man. That's how it should be. You like what you like, and and that's that's it. That's it. <laughs> I would I would keep I would buy the Snyderverse, and then I would rent I would rent Marvel because okay, so uh, that's, wow. Marvel you have that uh, you have a little bit of comedy that you can always come back to. Yeah. Okay, so that's so that's one. So I so how about you, uh, Christian? How about you? I'll buy the MCU and, and rent yeah. uh, the Snyderverse, right. man. All right. Also, uh, that leaves me to be the split decision factor <laughs> here. Oh, oh shit! Like I think a lot of people know that I love love the Snyderverse, man. Um, but if I but if I'm realistic here, because I enjoy both verses. The Snyderverse is not something that I can watch over and over again, right? It's it's not something that I can just keep watching on replay. Um, and it's limited to a certain amount of movies that I consider the Snyderverse. Like anything post, you know, I don't know, like without Snyder, was I don't really consider it the Snyderverse. You know, like Aquaman 2, I wouldn't consider that the Snyderverse. Um, you know, I only consider his, his movies the Snyderverse and Wonder Woman 1. Um, and MCU has a lot to pick from. I love a lot of their movies too. So I'd probably um, buy. Nah, I'm gonna buy the Snyderverse. Fuck it. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna buy the Snyderverse. No, no. Uh, yeah, I, no. I'm gonna buy the MCU, man. I'm gonna buy the oh, okay. MCU and, <laughs> right. and, 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 and rent. I'm gonna rent the. I'm gonna rent the uh, Snyderverse just because I think the rewatchability. Like I could watch Civil War quite a few more times than I can BBS over and over again. Uh, it's just like with and you know it's a hot take for a lot of people, but I love I love the Snyderverse. But when I watch that movie, I enjoy the shit out of that movie, man. Like I I really do. But it's it's something that like it's a little bit more exquisite. Like I I gotta you know have the right time, have the right you know you know moment to watch that movie versus the mcu i could throw that on in the background turn around and like oh yeah i remember that scene and things like that so that's the only reason and why i'm basing my decision on buying the mcu and renting the the snyderverse just because it you can't watch that over and over again mcu you got 10 years of build up so you know when i think about rewatchability like people coming over like everything like real real life situations it's the one that more people can sit down and enjoy than than the Snyderverse. All right, so Mr. Juan was overruled, and um, Star Wars <laughs> is destroyed. And I'm, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that because we didn't destroy the Snyderverse. No, 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 it's never. Just, it lives forever. Not, never, bro. Never. Snyderverse being rented, and MCU. You guys are buying it. Uh, real uh, quick, real quick. I know that it's for us, but Danny, I know you would destroy the Star Wars one. You. I, 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 which one? You, which, way, which one would you buy? Go, uh, I meant to say Carlos, not Joey. But uh, Carlos, you said that you don't consider Aquaman two part of the Snyder. What about Aquaman one? Uh, yeah, Aquaman one, yeah. Because it, I, I think he had a little <laughs> bit more involvement with that than maybe anything else. Like I think, like when they were doing Aquaman one, like the footprint, the blueprint, the blueprint was still kind of like 
I don't know, still there. And then after that, they kind of derange from anything. It's like saying Blue Beetle, right? Like Blue Beetle, I wouldn't <laughs> wouldn't say it was part of the Snyderverse when it was the last movie. That can argue both ways. I'm yeah. A, yeah. But you're right, though. I am going to destroy Star Wars. I'm going to wreck. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Hold up, hold up. Destroying Star Wars. Clip it, Gio. <laughs> you know what? Who I'm shot gonna first? I'm going to destroy the MCU. Oh. Oh. And I'm going to uh, buy the Snyderverse. Damn. Hot take. Okay. Hot take. Hot All right. take. So hot buy- take. Okay, so Danny's buying the MCU renting star wars yes is that right and you're destroying the snyderverse no 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 no, no, no. Yeah. I'm buying, <laughs> oh wait buying, the other way around yeah buying the he's Snyder destroying verse. mcu oh you're buying oh that's right you're buying okay there you go. So you're, bu- you're buying the snyderverse yeah. okay you're uh, renting star wars right yeah, yeah. and then compete. you're destroying the mcu <laughs> i know Marvel all right oh my good because yeah, the implications of this some, dude. exactly you're getting this all this controversial shit tonight dude deadpool today. 3 is out you will never go see it dude yeah, yeah. <laughs> you never get to see Deadpool. Like, i'm revoking your death it's it. <laughs> uh, darren wardo darren wardo says uh this got heated enough to flame broil whoppers for real <laughs> nice <laughs> you know okay, loud, baby. You, got, you know yeah, no. yeah there you go all right, so uh, so that was it, guys. So you guys played the buy, rent, or destroy the Wapush, uh this was good, show bro. version. So there you go. Okay, so now and then um, and then uh, Zio, I, I think you have to step out. So I'm gonna do yes. the, the giveaway. So if you need to step out now, we could do that. I'll just um, yeah, I'm uh, I got I gotta go, guys. I got a big family event going on today, so I gotta go to that. So I appreciate you having me on here, Gio. I hope to get back with you soon and get back on here. Or on the figure talk, man. Thanks to chat for being so awesome today. The we'll push guys. See y'all. You know, shameless plug. See y'all on Tuesday. And then Danny Sposhka, always a pleasure to see you and finally catch up with you once again, man. Y'all have a good day. I'm sure the rest of the show is gonna be a banger. Make sure y'all hit that like button on the way out. Thank you, Zio. Thank you for dropping by. Thank you for being yeah, here. Thank you for having me, man. All right. So uh now we're gonna do the the giveaway here. Um, let's see. Uh, brings me by to zero. I'm sorry, zero. Um, and as you got it, uh, the picks, uh, have fun there. Okay. So now we're going to do the giveaway guys. So let's see. So in the chat, if you are interested in the, uh, Spider-Man, wait, where the hell did I put it at? Hold on a second here. Oh, I'm looking for the, the image. Oh, you know what? I thought I put an image there. Damn. Okay. So I don't have an image. So it's the Spider-Man. It is the Spider-Man, though. Uh, the Spider-Man of Funko uh, that I've been, like, announcing or advertising, promoting on my on my Instagram. So just say if you're a subscriber or follower to the Movie Canon YouTube channel or following the Instagram page, put that in the chat. What I'm going to do is I am going to have you guys uh, guess a movie title based on an emoji Uh, so it's going to be an emoji movie title so whoever guesses the movie title first wins okay so that's for the uh the spider-man of funko which i thought i had the damn image but i guess i don't um describe it using your words (laughs) Jill. um it's the uh i think it's the the amazing spider-man the number one uh it's i think it's like the it looks like the yeah, mask off. He's swinging i masked off right yeah, swinging. Amazing and fantasy. then there's uh yeah so so i'm sure you guys have already seen it on there but all right so yeah, we have yeah, quite yeah. a few on here all right so we have a queef, quite a few in there so there you go all right so okay so you guys are ready for this emoji movie title game here so whoever uh, guesses this correctly will be the winner all right so here we go okay now i would need the correct name of the movie okay i'm going to go based on the timestamp of the the comment in the live chat so here we go and then you guys uh danny juan and christian if you guys know it you know just keep it to yourselves 
but uh like like don't don't spit it out you know say like oh, hold your tongue mother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right here we go here we go so what is the name of this movie here I assume it's not the Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what gave it away, but. Okay. All right. Getting a couple in there. I don't want to display it yet because I don't want to say, you know, because I feel if I display it, it, what it is and it's wrong, you guys are going to think that they won. So, oh, there you go. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Chris Chong, I, I knew it. War of the Worlds. Yes. Yeah. War of the Worlds. So there you go. He was the first one to display it or to guess it correctly here. So the first one was actually Chris Chong, but with the wrong movie. Quiet Place, Aliens, Quiet Place. And then Chris Chong said War of the Worlds, Quiet Place, Quiet Place 2, Independence Day. Yeah, that was a good guess, actually. Uh, and then congrats, Chris. So, uh, Chris Chong, you won um, the uh, Funko, the Spider-Man Funko number one, Amazing Spider-Man. So uh, message me on Instagram. Uh, just provide me with your address. Um, I think you won before. Yeah, you won before. So already have other information there. So, so yeah, guys. So that was the uh, the giveaway there. Thanks so much for um, you know uh, entering and all that stuff. So. I do have another giveaway that's coming up that's going to be mainly based from Figures Talk, which I'll talk about that later at another time. Uh, Chris Chong says, yay, I love Spider-Man. So, yeah, there you go. <laughs> nice. Okay, so uh, let's see here. So I think that is it. So now I'm going to have you guys, um, I'm just going to ask you what you guys have coming up. So, Mr. Christian, I know you're Obviously, Christian and Juan, you guys are part of the, the will push. So what do you guys have uh, going on here? Yeah. Um, uh, 7.30-ish. <laughs> we won't know the topic till the day of. So, uh, and usually we have a guest on, uh, you know, sometimes. And actually, and I'm sorry, sorry to interrupt there, Juan. I actually, can you tell the viewers, because there's some viewers right now that uh, are not collectors. So if you could just explain it is what do you guys do on your show? You want to, well, you know, we, C Carlos is part of the, the three, you know, yeah, we had, we've been having this, this channel for, for quite some time already. And, uh, uh, when we brought it back together, uh, you know, we kind of munched off of Carlos and, uh, the little, <laughs> the little click that, you know, that he had, uh, that he had, uh, accumulated over you know his instagram channel if you haven't seen it go 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 watch it uh it's a toy toy specific toy centric and uh but what we wanted to do is uh basically bring in uh the toy community and bring them into something different since everybody kind of already talks about the figures and you know you you look at the stream and they talk about the thing figures the same releases what they think but you know their opinions on it which is all good you know because you want to hear what everybody has to say but uh, we wanted to bring in the toy community into a different kind of realm, uh, something like what you're doing here with, you know, the Met Report, and it's talk about entertainment uh, stuff, TV shows, movies. Uh, you know, sometimes we talk about sports, and you know, Chris was like, well, "We should bring in sports into the conversation." Hey, man, you know, we're toy collectors. That doesn't mean that we're not, you know, fans of, you know, vinyl records or or sports or you know, other type of memorabilia that's out there, and. You know, this is what this is what the will push is about. It's just you know, three guys and sometimes a couple more coming together on Tuesday nights and just uh, just talking. Yep, yep. So um, I mean, I, I watch you guys every time that I can. So I'm usually there Tuesdays in the live chat. So uh, make sure you guys check out the will push. Uh, anything you want to say, uh, Christian? No, nothing much. I think Juan covered it pretty well, man. Like it's uh, we talk about whatever seems interesting. At that point in time, we usually come up with the topics five minutes before the episode starts, as uh, as Danny has seen 
uh, before. Yeah. Um, and it's just us like getting together, man, hanging out, uh, kind of unplugging and, and uh, you know, kind of just just chilling, man. And, you know, we talk about all things entertainment across all mediums, like Juan mentioned, not just figures, not just uh, movies. You know, we throw in games every now and then um, just stuff that's interesting. And um, it's just a, a great way for us to engage with community. And we've been on and off with this show. Uh, with this channel for years man since since like we graduated high school <laughs> so yeah. uh it's been around for a while man and honestly the fact that we have 127 <laughs> um i'm about to go lisa <laughs> lambo right now because i'm feeling on top of the world I didn't, I didn't know we had that much <laughs> yeah <we're... laughs> all right so um okay so so yeah so you guys do the tuesdays tuesday nights and the description i'm sorry the uh the link on the will push show is in the description of this video here uh then mr danny spotchka you have a channel as well so what do you have uh going on channel uh or actually i'm about to start streaming with you right after this we're gonna be uh talking about oh, yeah. that figure uh other than that i've been drawing my ass off i guess i'll give you guys a sneak peek uh for next upcoming that's all you guys will get uh, if people saw your uh your banner <laughs> the copper drop crew did and uh so people have been wanting some stuff for me uh, <laughs> you know, trying to hook them up with that uh other than that copper drop on thursdays i need to film a video about black adam being in the collection i just haven't yet oh, yeah. um but yeah oh, i got this guy today would you get oh oh full screen them real quick if you can Gio. look at it yes yeah, yeah, batman. <laughs> finally oh locked. you got the batman okay yeah, uh, it was lost in the mail for like uh, seven days or something like that, and it uh, finally uh, made its way. Are you uh, sure it's in there? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like it's in there. It's just gonna be the popcorn bucket from Dune inside, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, uh, let's see. So let me, let me just go into the live chat real quick here before we end this. Um, uh, Chris Chong says, "I did win before the Black Adam Funko." After losing so nice. many times, well, yeah, that's right. Chris Chong would always be just a little bit late with the guesses, and then he finally did one, and this is the second time he wins. Um, Storm says, "I'm thrilled about figures too," and uh, now I'm on a roll, says uh, Chris Chong. Uh, and then we have uh, glad this giveaway was uh, rescheduled since I was busy with uh, Solar Eclipse weekend, um, and then we have oh traveling. And there we go, Mr. Yomo. Uh, That's like nice there, sneak peek. Uh, stay safe, y'all. A lot of bad things in the world, and I look forward to talking to y'all each week. So thanks so much, uh, Miss Storm. Thank you so very much. Appreciate there. that, Storm. All right. So now, um, so again, thank you so much for for being on here, uh, uh, Christian, uh, Juan, uh, Danny Spotka. Um, as far as what I have going on here, so I'm actually doing a. A live stream right after this one with with Danny, with the Daniels, <laughs> with Dan the Bat Fan and Danny Spotska, uh figures talk, right after this one. I didn't promote it because I wasn't sure if I was going to do it or not, depending on the time and stuff. So I am going to do a very quick figures talk episode. It's gonna it's called figures accessory because it's just a little short part of a regular long form figures talk. So we're going to talk about the the armored batman hot toys figure that was just announced yesterday it was yesterday right yesterday morning, uh, yes. yesterday so we're going to talk about that so that's right after this um and then obviously figures talk normally it's sundays because i'm not doing my long form figures talk episode tomorrow so that's why i'm doing this uh, really quick one right after the stream and then obviously the met report saturdays as you guys know 12 35 p.m pst so uh thanks so much uh mr christian and juan uh for being here and then mr danny i mean we'll we'll see you in just uh, just a little bit so uh <laughs> so for the live chat thank you so very much for being here greatly greatly appreciate it um obviously the show isn't as great without your input here in the live chat and obviously my guests make this a lot better as well so thank you so very much so that will end the stream for today. Thank you so very much. And let me cue the ending here if I can find it here. Uh, all right. So have a good day, guys. And now, if you guys are interested in figures, I am going to talk about uh, the Batman Hot Toys in just a moment here. So just stay tuned 
because uh, we're going to do that in just a moment. So thank you so much. Talk to you later.